The next part of the pure data metronome that needs to be created is the metronome timing mechanism. The timing mechanism will feature the ability to fire separate bangs according to a provided subdivision argument. The idea is that the user will select not only the rate that they want for the metronome in beats per minute, but also subdivisions of that rate into smaller, even portions. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a metro with a toggle and we'll give it an argument of 1000. Then we'll feed it into a simple counter that consists of a float object that is patched recursively into a plus one object. With that, we will feed it into a modulo four object so that we can filter the subdivisions using a select object. The idea here is that the number from the counter will go into the modulo four, and then its result will either be zero, indicating the main beat, and that'll head out the left outlet of the select zero, or some other number, which will indicate a subdivision, and that will head out the right outlet of the select zero. With those outlets connected to the bangs of the different clicks, let's go ahead and test this. So we'll turn on the DSP and then get the metronome to start. So what we hear is that each time there's a zero coming out of the modulo four, the high click sounds, and with any other number, the low click sounds. What we really want, however, is that the rate of the metro, which is 1000 milliseconds, be subdivided into four equal parts. We need to change this rate to 250 milliseconds because when you divide 1000 by four, you get 250 milliseconds. Let's go ahead and do that change now. And as we test this again, now we get really what's intended, which is a beat at 1000 milliseconds. And so that's the high click and then hearing the subdivisions evenly within 1000 milliseconds. So every 250 milliseconds. But there's a catch here. It isn't really reasonable for us to hard patch the rate and the subdivision into the metro and the modulo objects. Instead, we need to patch a solution that will automatically calculate this information in order to accurately drive the timing mechanism and produce the correct high and low clicks. We'll take a look at how to do this in the next movie.